Uh, up to Ted. Can you you, you want to orbit, or you want to hold the shot for now? It's up to you, Ted. parking lot, uh, that is a dangerous situation. It, you know, we still are trying to sort out that fluid situation of uh, were they shot, were they, uh, were they injured but in some other means, but nevertheless, whatever it was, it created that panic. And now officers from LAPD, they have to keep this area safe, and the, what it, they need to do is to move a lot of these folks out. Most, probably 80%, maybe even 90% have already left the area. But you can see uh, a couple of them still very confrontational with the officers out here that are doing that dispersal. Uh, right now, this is all happening on Slauson. We do know that, uh, well, at least a moment ago, yes, both ambulances are still here on scene. LA, uh, LA City Fire Paramedics don't want to push in too close because we don't know exactly the condition of the second victim. But you can see them still working down there. Uh, trying to uh, to work with that w uh, other victim, hopefully, and, and I mean this, is that that person is okay, and perhaps they just need some extra uh, w w packaging, is what they call it, before they transport that victim. Two other ambulances have been called out here as well, LAPD working to disperse the crowd, which is now, again, slowly moving towards Crenshaw. Careful of that. Oh my gosh. We'll be here for quite a while. I can get you an exact, but we'll be here for a while. What do we got? Uh, 90 minutes on scene.
Well, apparently there's uh, reports that there was another victim over here at the uh, Ralph's parking lot, which is right across the street on Cr uh, Crenshaw. You can see some paramedics uh, working with a, a woman with some sort of injuries right there. Now, is this a stabbing? Is this uh, some other injury caused by possibly falling on some of that broken glass? I cannot say directly, but we do know that uh, they have another victim over here by the Ralphs. You can see the uh, ambulance standing by and uh, some of the uh, paramedics working with a person. I also know that there is another victim uh, laying between the ambulances, probably brought out to the ambulances out of respect and also uh, because of uh, folks at home. We don't want to show anything that will uh, upset others. Uh, we're not going to push into that, but uh, I believe that there is another victim right there. But we are, we're hearing even from Rachel that up to six victims right now. So that is a large amount. We did see at least two of them earlier on being carried out to the ambulances and then others coming out afterwards. Uh, the skirmish line or skirmish line is, seems to be working well this evening. Uh, you can see that line right there. The uh, people have been moving farther and farther away. And uh, the crowd really has, most of it has dispersed. This is much smaller than what was going on earlier on. Uh, you see the paramedics, uh, these guys, uh, heroes in their own right, walking through the crowds, uh, walking up to people, making sure everybody that anybody that is injured or needs medical attention is going to get it. Uh, officers from the LAPD, they have a different type of job this evening. They have to move these uh, people out of the area. And again, these folks are out here this evening uh, to show respects, to hopefully to come together as a community and to have something like this happen it is devastating. Uh, earlier on, though, uh, we did see the officers from LAPD taking uh, rocks, well, they, they say rocks and bottles, but those were candles. Those were those candles, uh, the glass candles, some of the you see still there on that wall being thrown at those officers. And uh, I know for a fact we saw one make contact with an officer, uh, and so they were being hit by these uh, by projectiles, and that is uh, also, you know, just just adds to the tension. It's something that uh, we, we could have could have been avoided. Uh, right now, though, also it just shows you too is there they were out here for a peaceful memorial for uh, for for uh, Mr. Hustle. And, uh, and, and now all of that has basically been trampled and destroyed. So it is, it's, just, it's just sad all around is just a way to say it. It might not be as professional as I'd like, but it is. It's just a very sad scene all around. Officers from LAPD still working down there. Conditions of these victims, that's something that we haven't even touched on yet. I'm very, very, very hopeful uh, that everybody is going to the hospital and will recover. We haven't heard any... Uh, any type of conditions as of yet, but six people now at victims of stabbings of some sort, and LAPD still dispersing a large crowd out here. This is happening in Hyde Park at the corner of Slauson and Crenshaw. Um, everybody, all the first responders have a difficult job, the, uh, and uh, of course the folks out here that were doing, coming for the memorial, uh, they, they're, they're I think they could leave if they wanted to.
Well, th this is one of those situations where if an officer says, this is the reason why this is happening, it, I don't want to go d directly against it. But uh, let's start off with those uh, added officers. It seems like most of the crowd has been moving towards the east. They've moved, uh, they started out in that direction, and officers from LAPD have been clearing out the rest of them to the east, basically meaning from the memorial to Crenshaw Boulevard. There is a little bit of a crowd to the west, but more officers, much more officers, uh, than uh, than uh, other folks that are out here, the people that look for the vigil. But you can see the number of uh, officers out there on Slauson. Their vehicles are still coming in. And as they rightfully need, they need a little bit of backup, so manpower as it would be. And you can see that uh, the officers have responded. A new small battalion is making their way to this skirmish line. And the, the crowds have thinned, but there are still a, a few out here that are very defiant. As far as the ambulances being able to leave the area, uh, there's some first there's, there's some officers right there in the intersection. We did see one ambulance leave the scene. I'm not going to push in right there because there is still one victim on the ground down there. Uh, Crenshaw, anybody that's in this area knows that there's been a lot of construction out here, but uh, it, it does appear, again, I'm not uh, going against what any of the officers are saying, but it does appear if those ambulances need to depart the area, they would just drive up Crenshaw, what I'm showing you uh, right there, that uh, roadway does seem to be wide open. Uh, but the number of resources still arriving out here, and if there are victims that are still need to be treated, uh, it is it, it, the, uh, uh, the L.A. City Fire paramedics, we did see them walking in that crowd. As far as the area that's been cleared, we don't see any victims laying down there on the ground. Uh, we did I'd see earlier on there was uh, somebody in that corner right there that may have needed help but uh, uh, opted out and went off on their own. As far as uh, any, you know, go ahead. Yes. Well, we saw, we, Jeff, we watched them live bringing those, uh, carrying those people out to this area. They were dropping them off right there in the middle of that intersection, uh, getting the ambulances.